When you're testing an all-new airplane, you go on so many flights, work so many weekends, they start to blend together. But for these Boeing pilots and engineers, this Saturday morning is one to remember. They're preparing to finish the last test required to certify the 787 Dreamliner. Getting to the point where we've worked so hard for so many years to finally get to the point where at the end, it's just unbelievable. Just as the fog rolls in, the team sets off from Everett, Washington to complete function and reliability testing where they'll put the airplane through more airline situations. It should be a breeze compared to what the 787 test fleet has already been through. Boeing put one Dreamliner into a refrigerated hangar to see if it can start up at minus 45 degrees. On the runway, pilots put the tail down on the ground to measure how slowly the 787 can take off. They slammed on the brakes while the jetliner was speeding down the runway to simulate the ultimate rejected takeoff. In the air, pilots flew the 787 at the lowest possible speed, then up to almost the speed of sound. They purposely put one Dreamliner through hundreds of stalls to make sure it can recover in such an emergency. In other flights, some of the most extreme loads were placed on the airplane to test for flutter. Upon landing, the 787 had to handle fierce crosswinds, wet runways, or just fly repeated passes to test for ground effects. This is all done to demonstrate the robustness of the airplane in the event of almost anything that could happen to it. And in every case, the airplane has achieved exactly what we've desired. The 787 is a revolutionary design, with its extensive use of strong but lightweight carbon composites, more electric systems, and advanced aerodynamics. All those features had to pass certification requirements. To date, the 787 test fleet has flown just over 1,700 flights, racked up more than 4,800 flight hours and performed more than 25,000 test conditions, pretty much everything imaginable. I'm used to landing the airplane 100,000 pounds overweight. I'm used to flying it with the overspeed warning going off for hours on end or flying the airplane with an engine turned off. After flying around the western U.S. for six hours, the team brings the ninth Dreamliner back to Everett. Everything went according to plan. So with the sun now shining, it's time to land and make aviation history. When the airplane landed, it had with it all of the hopes, the dreams, the hard work of the tens of thousands of men and women of Boeing and our partners around the world who have labored so long and so hard on this airplane. For 787 Chief Pilot Mike Carricker, who was in the flight deck for the first and this last flight, it's a long journey worth savoring. To look at all those features working together seamlessly and you understand all the work that it took to get there, you're just so proud of the tenaciousness of the team that put it together and you wish you all could have been there to watch it.